Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about feeling uneasy when you start programming. Okay, so last week I got an email from a new developer named Kushal and rather than just respond to the email, I thought I would put this out to the group because we have a lot of developers who watch this channel, some just starting out and some that are more experienced. It'd be good to get your guys' take on this too. But here's what Kushal says. I'm starting learning app development 15 days ago. Till now, I'm feeling a bit uneasy about the methods of programming. I'm asking if I'm feeling the same what others feel at starting. Can you suggest some ways? Please do reply. Okay, so you're, you just started 15 days ago and you're feeling uneasy. Yeah, of course you are. When you start something new, you're gonna feel uneasy about it, especially when it comes to programming, right? I remember when I started, when I started learning how to code, I could remember I was starting to learn, but one of the reasons why I was holding back a little bit, because I still thought, I, did, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too difficult for me. I saw other programmers and I, at the investment bank where I was working, I saw other programmers and they just looked so smart to me. How did they learn all this stuff? How could they pick up all this kind of stuff? And as I started to learn, I was still doubting in my mind whether or not my, my brain could handle the complexities of code, right? And it, was, it seems so silly now, but at the time I thought, I don't even know if I'm smart enough to learn this kind of stuff. But eventually I plugged away, I wrote really bad code at first, and then it got better and better as I go, and I worked with more people and it got better. But we all have to start somewhere, and yeah, I felt uneasy at the beginning and I think everybody feels uneasy when they're just starting out, right? If you read any computer book or most computer books, they start with a hello world example. So like if you read an app development book, it'll say, all right, most computer books, they start the same. They start with a history of whatever. So if you get a book on Android, there's a good chance the first chapter is going to be, let's look at the history of the Android platform. And it's like, I don't need to know the history. Just tell me what I need to know. And then they'll say, Chapter two will be your first app, and that first app will be Hello World. So they'll say, okay, go open up Android Studio, go into this view here, type this, run the thing. It says Hello World, right? It just says Hello World. And they'll say, congratulations, you made your first app. And you're thinking, and every time I do this, I, I'm thinking, that's just so anticlimactic, right? That's so boring. Yeah, I made my first app, but I didn't really, though, did I? That's not really, I mean, it's, nobody's going to, I can't release that. So what I would say, Kushal, is get to the point where you can do something that's really cool so it improves your enthusiasm about it. Because if you go down the hello world route and you're still feeling unsure of yourself, you're not able to produce something, your enthusiasm may wane. And if you start doing something you think, oh, this is awesome, then you won't be able to stop yourself. You'll be like reading about it like for fun at night. You, before you go to bed, you're reading a little bit about Android or, or iOS or, or whatever it happens to be because you're, you start to see the possibilities as you go. And you know what? Your code in the beginning is going to be bad. It's going you know, to be, you got enough to get something working. And then you start thinking about why are functions important? This is something I forget. Like in the early days, putting things into functions, I started thinking, you know, why, were, why was a function important? And now it's like something you can't live with. Why is inheritance important? So you got all these things that, that, that come up later, but in the beginning, it's just pretty much spaghetti code and you're getting to the point where you, you could produce something. So get to where you could produce something and you won't be able to, I mean, you might be able to share it with somebody. You, you get better if you work with other people and you start looking at other code and you start getting better, but you have to start somewhere. And the danger of starting development, uh, st starting in software development is that you could, you could get to the point where you think you're not smart enough to get to do anything special. It's the same with learning human languages, right? If you, if you start learning the grammar and the basics, you could run out of steam before you can ever do anything good with it. So you need to get to the point where you can use some phrases so you can put some stuff out there and try some stuff out. Like you go to a foreign country and you say something, you say a phrase to somebody and you're like, you feel really cool because yeah, this is working, I'm doing this, even though you might not respond, you might understand what they respond to you. And in a way, software development is the same way, in my opinion. You need to get to the point where you could do something where you think, that's cool. Something so cool you could show your friends, right? Even though you realize your, your shortcomings as a developer, but you're getting there. The way you become a better software developer is to keep coding and to keep learning, right? The, the danger is you become that lone wolf guy who writes spaghetti code for his entire life or he writes terrible code for his entire life because you never work with somebody else. But if you want to grow as a developer, I, I think it does help to work with other people. 
or to look at other people's code and see how they do things, learn design patterns, learn other part, but all that stuff is way down the road. You're 15 days in, you just need to keep your enthusiasm going. And yeah, I did feel uneasy about it. And even when I learn a new language, I usually feel uneasy about it to begin with. So my question for the other more experienced developers out there, when you were starting, did you feel uneasy about it, right? Because I think it's just a normal thing. And like I said, Kashal, Kushal, my whole thing was I started, I had this doubt in my head as to whether or not I was even capable of learning this, which was ridiculous because of course I was. I, you're not going to have a problem. Just keep, keep plugging away at it and, and don't worry about that uneasy feeling. Anyway, th that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think. Let Kushal know what you guys think. And that's it for today. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.